So how does PCORI identify those gaps? The evidence gaps, they do a lot of different, I would do this through different ways in terms of looking through evidence synthesis by looking at lots of systematic reviews, seeing where the field has identified large gaps. And we also do a lot of stakeholder engagement. So what that means is we try to figure out who are the key players in any given healthcare topic. So in terms of mental health, we certainly want to talk to the various clinicians in terms of psychiatrists, psychologists, other mental health providers, different patient advocacy groups, for example, NAMI, <laughs> and patients. National we, Institute of Mental Illness, right? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. We make a lot of effort to reach out to the patients themselves and their caregivers. If it's we're talking about youths, those yeah. for whom, you know, are actually making those decisions about their health care. We yeah. want that information to be relevant to them and to help inform those decisions that they ultimately make. So what gaps have been identified? Sure. So within mental health, we've had a, or youth mental health, we've had a few different initiatives recently. So PCORI, sometimes we will fund these we call targeted funding announcements. So these are topics that have been identified uh, at PCORI through these different mechanisms I just mentioned, including lots and lots of stakeholder engagement. And so some of the targeted areas within youth mental health that we've recently funded are in pediatric anxiety, as well as adolescent suicide prevention and brief interventions for adolescent alcohol use. So okay. I think... Um, We've definitely seen an increase in anxiety disorders. We're starting to see the research come out up until about 2020. And sometimes research findings lag in terms of real time. And even up to 2020, we're seeing that adolescent anxiety has increased and depression, maybe about 25%. And I can only imagine that those numbers when we do post-pandemic evaluations will be even higher. And so that pediatric anxiety funding announcement, that actually was pre-pandemic. So that was something that had mm -hmm. been identified, but certainly will be even more relevant today. And of course, in terms of mental health, there's the intersection between mental health and substance use. Mm -hmm. um, and, and of course, everyone is concerned about suicidality among Local mm -hmm. populations, including adolescents.